Hello, I'm Nagendra, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to discuss troubleshooting steps that can help isolate the reason for 504 errors written by an Amazon API Gateway REST API. Let's get started. 504 errors can occur when connecting to their service through an API Gateway REST API. The API Gateway REST API has a maximum integration timeout value for any type of integration. If the integration backend does not respond to the API Gateway within the configured timeout value, then API Gateway returns a HTTP 504 status code. The maximum integration timeout value for the API Gateway REST API is 29 seconds, which is also the default value. To understand the reason for the 504 errors, let's first confirm where the request is getting timed out. To identify the source of the error, we'll use API Gateway CloudWatch logs. To do this, we must first enable the Amazon CloudWatch logs on the API stage. I have the API Gateway console open and I have selected my REST API. Under Stages, I'll select the stage used for the REST API and then go to the Logs or Tracing tab. Here, I'll check the box next to Enable CloudWatch logs. I'll select the info level logging to get logs for all requests. Also, I'll check the log full request or response data to get webos logs in CloudWatch. Then I'll save these changes. When these changes are saved, we'll make some new requests to the API to reproduce the errors. When the errors are reproduced, we can then go to the CloudWatch logs and find the log group created for the API. For this video, I have simulated a 504 error on my API. We can find the API's log group by filtering the API ID or the stage name. We can get the API ID from the API Gateway console. In the log group, we can see the request that returned an error using the timestamp. When we open the logs, we can check the flow of request as processed by the REST API. If the 504 errors are due to the integration endpoint timing out, we will see the execution fail due to timeout message after the endpoint request body after transformation and sending request to lines. In this case, my backend is a lambda function. So I'll see the lambda function details in the sending request to step. As we can see here, the timeout occurred after the sending request to line. Next, we can verify whether the associated backend endpoint is invoked or receiving the request. If the backend is a lambda function, we can confirm whether this lambda function is invoked or not by checking the invocation metric on the function. If the backend is a web server, we can check from the server logs whether the request is received. If the backend service wasn't invoked or never received the request, then consider implementing retries at your client to retry these errors, which are most likely a result of a temporary network failure in the API Gateway service when sending the request to the integration backend. If the backend service receives the request but can't complete processing, or not returning a response within the API Gateway integration timeout value, you can consider these options to help reduce the processing time. For example, in the backend server, keep only the logic required to send a response back to the API Gateway. If there is any additional code that can be run separately or doesn't require for the response that was sent to the API Gateway, then consider running this code in a separate service such as Lambda by triggering it separately from your integration backend. Or consider reviewing the backend service or server logic and optimize it where possible to make sure that it completes within the configured integration timeout value. It's a best practice to configure the maximum timeout on the backend so that it's less than the integration timeout that's configured on the API gateway. However, sometimes it's just not possible to reduce the processing code logic or the time on the backend server. If that happens and if the backend is a lambda function, API Gateway provides an option to invoke the lambda function asynchronously. When invoked asynchronously, the lambda service returns a success response code to the API Gateway soon after receiving the request. The lambda service processes the actual request in the function separately later. This is a good option if API Gateway's response to the client isn't dependent on the backend Lambda function's execution result.
to invoke a lambda function asynchronously we will set a custom header x amg invocation type with value set to event in the integration request configuration and now you know several troubleshooting steps that can be used to help isolate the reason for 504 errors returned by an Amazon API Gateway REST API and some methods to address these errors. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>